Oh boy, here we go again. How's it going, ladies and gents? It's Flack. Here's a curtain airbag. It's about, I'd say, a good four or five feet long. Uh, this is what's actually in the headliner. This is what comes down. It's a curtain that uh, covers the windows in the case of an accident. So let's set it off carefully. Also, instead of using a 9 volt, I would like to use a multimeter. Uh, there's a rule of thumb of you do not test airbags with a multimeter using resistance, or at all, preferably, because to test resistance, it uses voltage. I've always wondered, will this actually set off an airbag? I've never seen it before. I've never seen anyone, I guess, dumb enough to try to use their multimeter on it, but... Let's give it a shot. By the way, that's a Mushi meter. Fantastic meter. I love this thing. All right, so I didn't do this yet, but I, I feel I need a CYA. Don't do this. <laughs> Even if it doesn't pop the airbag off, which I'm about to do, it's still not a good thing to do. It's recommended to never test an airbag with a multimeter. And resistance in common. Fire in the hole. All right, let's try the nine volt. Fire in the hole. All right, connection problem. Oh, that's why they're shorted. That'll do it. Multimeter first. Fire in the hole. Okay, all right, what about the battery? That worked! Wow. Oh, it's like a bouncy castle. Alright, so the 9 volt definitely, definitely worked. My theory with this meter is, I'm pretty sure that in resistance, meters output about 1 to 2 volts. Now, mind you, we got this long cable with all these botch connections. There, there, there. And this whole thing is a uh, high resistance. Well, high resistance to one or two volts. So that's my only theory that there wasn't enough voltage to push through it. Still, do not use a multimeter to test airbags. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. All right, so my Mushi meter didn't work. However, what about a standard run-of-the-mill meter? Uh, this has got a 9 volt and a custom fuse. <laughs> so let's see if that does it. All right, just a quick test. All right, so we have continuity. Fire in the hole. Measuring 2.3 ohms. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, so I was able to measure it. 